Okay, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of SUNY OER Services, I want to welcome you to today's short webinar on Waymaker for Business. I'm Tony DeFranco, SUNY OER Services Campus Strategist, and I'm joined today by Dan Lee, Director of Teaching and Learning, Natural Sciences and Business at Lumen Learning. Uh, I'll begin by providing a brief overview of SUNY OER services and the partnership that Looney, uh, SUNY has with Lumen Learning. Uh, we'll then move into a live demonstration of Waymaker for Business, uh, leaving time for your questions. I'll monitor the chat throughout this webinar, so feel free to ask questions during the presentation. Over the last couple of years, over 155,000 SUNY students and 1,000 SUNY faculty have embraced the freedom and power of OER. SUNY OER Services is building on that momentum, but we can't scale and sustain OER across SUNY alone. We need partners for that. Lumen is a leader in OER and a natural partner for SUNY, given its experience, its expertise, and leadership in open education. Together, we help campuses remove barriers, offer affordable and easy to access adaptable open course materials. Lumen Learning's vision is to enable unprecedented learning for all students and impact affordability, access and student outcomes through effective adoption of open educational resources at scale. And this aligns with SUNY's mission to offer the people of New York educational services of the highest quality with the broadest possible access. Lumen Learning is a partner that listens to the needs of SUNY faculty, uh, responds to the latest educational technological capabilities and incorporates OER into those technologies and uses data to improve OER efforts. Lumen's OER courses and platforms are available to all SUNY faculty and students at no charge through the system level partnership. SUNY OER services and the SUNY help desk provide direct support for faculty and students using Lumen's platforms and OER courses. Together, we are intensely focused on ensuring data driven, high quality OER is available to SUNY students on day one that the resources are offered at an affordable cost and in SUNY's case these resources are free but the most important goal is to improve student success. In our ready to adopt OER course catalog at oer.suny.edu you'll find peer-reviewed course materials and ancillary teaching resources for over 70 subjects all of which are available again at no cost to SUNY students. I'm going to turn it over to Dan Lee now for a demonstration of Waymaker, courseware that combines OER with personalized learning tools and analytics to strengthen student learning and success. Thank you, Tony. First and foremost, I would like to say thank you to everyone who took time out of their busy schedule today to join today's webinar. And also thank you to anyone watching this recording in the future. Um, today we're going to be talking about a brief overview. We'll be reviewing a brief overview of Waymaker and covering the instructor perspective, the student perspective, as well as go over some of the analytical tools that you'll have at your fingertips when exploring your various courses. Um, but before we be, begin that, I'd like to open up um, for questions. See if anyone had any questions to just to bring up now. Um, I want to leave a couple of seconds and if you do have questions and you are unable to talk, um, please uh, post them in our chat window. We'd like to be able to make sure we can address all the questions during today's session. Okay. So I don't see any questions. If, if there are any questions that do come up during the presentation, please don't hesitate just to type a question in the chat window. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at uh, the, our courses within Waymaker that are embedded within Blackboard is that the courseware that we're providing is allowing you as a professor to be able to see all the content, all the resources immediately embedded into your individual course. And when we're providing you with these adaptive tools, it's much different than what you may be familiar with when it comes to encouraging students for interactivity. Um, when we're going to be diving into Waymaker, you'll notice that the types of prompts and the interactions will encourage students to critically think and focus on their metacognition to ensure that their responses are supporting their learning instead of simply responding to questions and inquiries that may be supporting uh, 
um, systems that are already provided for adaptive tools. And so once again, just to set the, just to set the agenda, we're gonna go over, go over the instructor perspective, the student perspective, and do a very, very brief um, overview of how to set up some of the uh, automated nudges that you have access to. So within this course, please keep in mind that everything that you see here is modifiable, just as you would normally have within um, your Blackboard um, session. And the first thing to, to, to keep in mind is that all of the modules that are available here, uh, they're designed to ensure that you have um, an individual, individual module for each week. And when we click on a faculty resources, questions around where are your PowerPoints, where are your assignments, some activities, even pacing mechanisms can all be found in this individual module available to you. So if you're a professor who likes to modify the course and either combine modules or even remove certain things, we've taken the time to think of this in advance and make suggestions to the fact that if you are needed to cover material more quickly than others, perhaps combining module three and module six would be a great fit. But also we've made the recommendation to not double up on particular modules as they may be particularly long and challenging for students. Um, once again, all the, the modules that you'll see here, will, you'll have access to, to modify your fingertips, but we just wanna make sure that you're aware when every, every way to make a course will have this folder available so you can see um, the PDF if you need to provide it to your students. Um, they will not have to have offline access through a separate system. They can download it on their phone or the computer and they'll still be able to, um, to, to, to maintain a, a copy of the content forever. Um, we'll get back to the Waymaker faculty tools after we go through a student example, but I just wanted to make sure that everyone has, has quickly seen this page to see where you can access your resources and your assignments. So I'll go back. In with each of the modules, you'll notice that the click on rule of business, for example, each module will have two discussions and two assignments. Um, it'll also fall in line with our um, salty pause business case in which students will be following along with Wanda where she is creating and developing um, treats um, for dogs. And you can either choose to align an individual discussion or assignment with the business case scenario, or you can have it um, with um, separate assignments and discussion. But we wanna make sure that our recommendation when you're moving forward with uh, deciding which assignment or discussion to use is to go with one or the other. And for detailed and, and additional information for just modifications, please don't hesitate if you have questions out in the future to reach out to Laura or myself or Tony as we'd be happy to continue um, these discussions on course modifications or get you in touch uh, with with the right people. And so I'm gonna go into an example from a student perspective. So you can see for yourself the types of interactivities your students will have access to. So I'm going into global environment and click right into the study plan. And in the study plan, Every study plan is going to have three various sections. The first section is going to be to get started, dive in, and finish strong. And in a nutshell, students will have a chance to preview the individual module by seeing an opening vignette, which puts the learning objectives into context to answer the question, why is this material important to me? What can I learn from this? How does this relate to the real world? And once they read through this opening vignette, they'll be prompted to answer a series of questions. And based upon their responses, once they click on the pretest, based upon the responses, what will happen is the individual, individual modules that they'll see. I'll go back here. Based upon the responses, these individual icons will change color according to the amount of information that they know. So in this case, looking at measuring global trade, measuring global trade, the, 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 our system has indicated that they've understood the learning objectives associated with this, but they may need additional work on globalization, global business strategies, and global trade agreements organizations. And that's okay. 
The goal of this is to allow students to be able to preview the material and absorb the content in a way that allows them the best opportunity and potential to absorb the information. So going in with this example, if I'm clipping, click, clicking into globalization and I'm starting off, it's going to provide me with an introduction to explain clearly what am I expected to learn. As I'm, as I'm previewing through the content, the learning outcome is listed right in front, so it's very clear what the intention is for why they're reading through the content. And beyond simply having the, the content listed out, there will be a series of videos, such as this YouTube video, simulations and interactivities that they'll have access to to reinforce their learning. And if there are questions around being able to complete specific activities offline, there'll be a clear indicator. Here's an example on absolute and comparative advantage where not only is there information on the content itself, but as we scroll down, we'll see that there is a try exercise where students had a chance to be able to test their knowledge to see how much of the information did they really retain. So I'll click on must, I'll click chance, click answer. It's gonna provide me with immediate feedback as to if I get the question right or wrong. And here's an example of an interactive that puts everything together um, for what they recently have, have been learning. And so we're going off of absolute and comparative advantage. We're going to the next slides. Learning about absolute advantage and determining abs absolute advantage, which country has absolute advantage in TVs. I'm going to list that it's Orange County. I'll have a chance to check my response and be able to see it's interactive here. So keep in mind all the information that you're seeing here, this is feeding back into the reporting and metrics that you'll be able to pull back into from the instructor perspective. But this is only one piece of the puzzle. And so as students are reviewing through these modules, the ultimate goal is for them at the end of the module, is that by the end of this, that they'll be able to put it all together by clicking on finish strong, view the closing vignette, which summarizes the learning objectives and information that they've recently learned to allow them an opportunity to take a quiz. And we provide students opportunity to take these quizzes up to two times and based upon the feedback, it's going to um, provide you with an immediate response that I'll go into your inbox to see how well they did. And the impact of what May, Way, Waymaker can provide really lies here in the faculty resources. It'll only take you about a few minutes to set up. And it'll be located here under Waymaker Faculty Tools. So under Waymaker Faculty Tools, you'll see here at the top, we have a bar that says getting started tips for weeks zero to one. You'll see here that when we click on this, we provide you with some examples of welcoming messages and things you can send to your students if you have a chance to send communications prior to the term beginning to ensure that they have a clear understanding of A, what Waymaker is, and then B, the ability to be able to see um, how to interact with the system accordingly. So we go back to home. When you are ready to set up your communication, you'll click here in the upper right corner where it says set up communication. And we can get this completed in about five easy steps. We'll click on configure Waymaker. It'll ask you for your email address, first name, last name, your signature, and you as a professor get to decide the amount of notifications that you'll see based upon student responses, whether you'd like to see this come into your inbox on a daily basis or even when an individual um, trigger um, is, is, is pushed off. And so the mastery threshold is what you're determining when students complete that quiz at the end of a study module to decide if students are able to meet this minimum threshold. It'll then provide you with the prompt and response. And so our recommendation is to set it at 80%. And then you'll last quickly set the course dates for when your class starts and when your class ends. The beauty of Waymaker is that you'll be able to decide a coaching personality that matches your style of instruction. Whether you're a professor who likes to 
um, coach students, you can see a view sample message. You can customize this message accordingly. So let's say, for example, I'm a student who went into the study module and did not take the time to review through those individual learning objectives. I went directly to the quiz. And because of that, I scored 50%. The minimum threshold that we set was 80%. And we realized that I, as a student, didn't click through anything. Well, here's an example of a message that can come up that will say, hello, we see that you attempted this particular quiz, but didn't do very well. I know this can be very frustrating. Looks like you're not using many of the self checks. Have you considered these? Or in contrast, if your professor would just like to provide the facts, we also have a, a, a template made just to say for the exact same thing. As you prepare for your second attempt, allow me to remind you that the self checks embedded throughout the course readings. They can serve as a way to help you um, learn the material. And so when you're ready to customize a message, you can change the language to fit your personality and your style. And so if you are a professor who would like to change this, you can see here as an example, it'll automate the student name as well as any other pertinent information. So you don't have to worry about sending the, the, the messages to students on a, on a daily basis. In fact, one of the, the greatest things that we've identified is that some students, whether they're willing to speak up or students who may not have the ability to speak up, these automated messages serve as a starting point or starting conversation to have students naturally respond back to. So we have examples for study tips and even opportunities where you can have automated messages come up to when students exceed a mastery threshold as well too. And then last on the customization, step five of five is allowing the opportunity to be able to include your office hours and supplemental help. When students are finishing their quizzes and information is flowing into your main page, help students who are trying but struggling. There will be students that will fall under this particular area and you'll have the ability to be able to, to take action. So if I'm that same student who did not complete a quiz score, it was under 80%. You can pre-select one of your templates that you have readily to use, or you can craft a new message. And so our goal is to allow you with the opportunity to make multiple interjections, to be able to make the biggest impact when students are reviewing through the content, to allow them the best chance to be able to meet the learning objectives that you set for your course. And whether you're using the course as it stands from what we were providing to you within the course cartridge, or whether you're adding additional materials and subtracting things, our goal is to allow you with more opportunities to be able to speak with students and to be able to recorrect those students who may need additional assistance or to continue encouraging the students that they're doing fantastic and phenomenal. But all of your communication will be listed here on this page so you can keep track of, of, of one of all the communications and B and to be able to keep a log and decide for yourself, this automated message goes out, do I need to send an additional message or did the student already come and visit me during office hours? And so all the things that we've just discovered and, and covered today from instructor, the instructor perspective for the resources that you have available to you, the student perspective of being able to dive in directly into the study modules and get immediate feedback about how well you're absorbing the, uh, how well you're absorbing the information as well as a quick, very brief overview of some of the reporting tools. Uh, this is a, a great example of what you can expect to find with all the courses that currently have Waymaker included. And if you have any questions, as we mentioned before, please don't hesitate to reach out to, to any of us. Um, we'd be happy to have a much more in-depth conversation modifying existing courses and best tips and tricks um, for you um, as you're moving forward. But with that, I'll pass it back to Tony. Okay, thanks a lot, Dan, and I'm going to share my screen one more time. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So if you have any questions at all, you can post them in the chat. Um, if you are watching this recording, you can send us an email at oer at suny.edu. As we bring this webinar to a close, we'd like to remind you that if you have any questions for SUNY OER services or Lumen Learning at any time, you can uh, also email us at that address, oer at suny.edu. Uh, 
uh, you'll get a follow-up response from SUNY OER services or from a member of the Lumen team serving uh, SUNY. We also encourage you to visit the SUNY OER Ready to Adopt course catalog at oer.suny.edu. This is where you'll find over 70 courses, including the Waymaker uh, business courses. All of these courses are customizable and can be remixed. So we do have one question from Maureen. Can you explain the difference between Waymaker and Candela? And I'm happy to take that, or Dan, if you want to take a crack at that. <laughs> I can, but Laura, um, since you started, please go Sure, ahead. sure. So Maureen, um, Waymaker is in a personalized frame um, framework. So personalized learning, meaning that all the learning objectives are tied to all the assessment questions and tied to the learning content. So that when the student does their pretest, then they're given a personalized study plan. And then as they do the self checks, all those metrics are recorded. Um, so there is that there is that mastery personalized learning um, and instructor empowerment framework all all around the Waymaker content. Candela is the same content for a course, but um, it's in a static what we call a book or courseware, and it's it's perfectly serviceable, but it's more what you think of a traditional online content would be. So uh, with a Candela course, you um, are given a copy of the course and you can customize it any way you want to and you can pardon the train. You can integrate it into your learning management system, but it does not have the interactive tools or the data collection or the personalized learning or any of the faculty tools. That was really fast and I'm always happy to talk more or show more too. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. All right, I'd like to thank Laura Murray for moderating and uh, Dan Lee from Lumen Learning for providing an overview of Waymaker for Business. And to those who are with us today, uh, thanks for joining us. And those who are viewing this recording, also, thank you for joining us.